Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, in today's video, I am going to discuss some of the very important concepts of electromagnetic theory. And it is gonna be a video like a kind of revision video, you can say. This will be a video in the accomplishment series. Also, guys, before starting the discussion about all those important points and the formulae which we are going to discuss in this video. Uh, I'm just going to let you know about the Unacademy Plus subscription and the important courses and some important points. But before that, even guys, let me just provide you some more details about this video. So in this video, we are going to have some very, very, very important expressions. Okay, many, many expressions for different, different topics. And this video will be helpful for all the students, those who are going to prepare for the CSI or Net Physics exam, also for Gate Physics exam or any other similar exam. Okay, and we will try to cover up most of the points in this particular video. So watch it till the end as well as guys, you can share this video with your friends. And if you are new on this channel, that is Mission Ed Physics exam, then you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. Okay, and click on the bell icon to get the notification for the new videos I will upload on this channel. The other video is, uh, videos which I have already uploaded, they are going to be on most important topics as well. You can check them you, if you have not watched those videos as well. Now let's quickly start the discussion. So guys, as you all know, on Unacademy Plus, we are going to have so many important courses which are going on right now for your upcoming exam as well as for the upcoming gate physics exam we are going to have the courses there okay for CSIR net physics exam and for gate physics exam as well okay if you want to take the unacademy plus subscription you can take the unacademy plus subscription to attend the live classes uh, by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming exam preparation and guys all these important courses uh, when you will attend them by all the top educators, it will be very much helpful for all of you. Clear? So yeah, by taking the Unacademy Plus subscription, you can prepare very well for your upcoming CSI or Net Physics exam as well as for the Gate Physics exam and also for other similar type of exams even, you will be able to prepare with all these important courses and with the guidance of all the top educators. Now, whenever you are going to take the Unacademy Plus subscription and what are the steps to take the subscription, I will even tell you that thing. So whenever you are going to take the subscription, you can use and apply the referral code that is Anjali Arora. As it is mentioned here, a no space in between spelling should be same. That's how you need to write it and apply it to get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount. Now guys, to take the subscription, you can directly search like uh, Unacademy Plus or you can check out like the Unacademy Learning app. You can download that and then you can proceed for the further steps. And the category for which you need to take the subscription will be CSI or UGC net. Okay, that's how you can proceed further. There only like you will have the gate physics exam courses as well, which will start soon now. Okay, so if you don't want to miss any of the sessions in those courses, you can take the subscription now. And whenever you are going to take the subscription, use and apply the referral code that is Anjali Aurora as it is mentioned here. Now I'm just going to show you some of the courses. Okay, see this one preparation course on physics for CS. Uh, for gate gate exam gate physics exam basically it is going to start on 21st like december and the timing of the session is mentioned and uh, everything is like mentioned here okay the practice course on physical science with mcq and pyqs was there then we are going to have uh, the practice course on physics with tips and tricks and even many other courses now you will be able to get them check them okay in the learning app you can just check it out now let's quickly start the discussion about all these points which we are going to cover up in this session but guys it is going to be a little bit different video what i will do i'm just going to show you the slides and going to tell you something about the topic okay so that quickly we will be able to consider these points and this is a video in the accomplishment series itself i will soon try to provide you the other subjects videos as well okay as soon as possible now for electromagnetic radiation how the electric field magnetic field and the pointing vector will be dependent on r i have mentioned that thing first i hope once you are getting familiar with this particular point it will be helpful for all of you so you all need to know about it then we have talked about or we have mentioned the lorentz invariant quantities okay all these are going to be quite important once you know them they will be helpful and they will help you to solve the questions from the emt part okay how and where and when in what type of questions for that we will have the practice 
uh, session okay here i will just soon try to provide you some questions based on the concepts next very important expression in the emt part is for the magnetic field and the vector potential how they are related to each other another one for the electric field scalar potential sometimes we even show it with v here it has been shown with pi and the vector potential relation very important okay everybody needs to know coulomb gauss condition lorentz gauss conditions they have been mentioned here okay and then here the mu not epsilon not even you can write in place of 1 upon c square i'm going to read this equation if something is not clear to you okay you can just focus on uh, what i'm going to tell you now delta dot e that is divergence of a not e delta dot a plus 1 upon c square delta phi upon delta t is equal to 0 okay next one for the waveguide part i have noted down some of the important points here the first one is for the transverse electric mode okay here guys the ez that is the z component of electric field will be equal to 0 and bz is non-zero okay for this case the transverse electric mode now what is the bz expression that i have mentioned here but along with that guys uh, the general form or the expression which is mentioned is b naught okay cos m phi x by a and cos n phi y by b i think the cutoff uh, frequency formula it will be clear to you and clearly visible every term and everything but if it is not clear or it is not visible i'm just going to mention it here as well for cutoff frequency which is c by 2 root m upon a square okay plus n upon b square now what are m and n here so like sometimes you may have observed it is gonna be somewhere mentioned like this here this is the first value m and the second value is n in the suffix okay so corresponding to the given mode you will have the m n values a and b are the dimensions okay now this is the cutoff frequency but somewhere if somebody is asking you about the cutoff angular frequency value so this is the general formula which you can use and you can just get it now transverse magnetic mode so bz the component of magnetic field will be zero while the electric field component non-zero and the generalized expression of electric field is mentioned here the difference between the magnetic field and the electric field expressions is here in the magnetic field it's cos and in the electric field it's sine how to memorize it you you know in the alphabetical orders like c and b are close like closely present to each other so that's how you can remember like okay in the magnetic field formula i'm going to have the cos present and electric field sign next is the malice law okay it is related to the intensity part of transmitted ray and the incident ray also here you are going to have the angle theta present which is the angle between electric field and the polarization axis okay so this is going to be important expression next one is guys boundary conditions which are very important and from where you can expect the questions so it's going to be e parallel above that is the parallel or the tangential components of electric field above the sheet let's say this is a boundary okay so above this boundary and below this boundary the parallel components will be equal while if you will talk about the normal ones okay they will not be equal to each other so be careful about that point done and also for the displacement vector the normal components will be equal or continuous you can say okay and uh, for the magnetic field and uh, h like the uh, conditions or the boundary conditions have been mentioned which component is going to be the continuous ones now if we are going to talk about the next point we are going to consider here that is related to brewster's angle okay it's gonna be 10 inverse n2 upon n1 n1 and n2 are the refractive refractive index of the mediums like the medium 1 and medium 2 corresponding to that this is incident ray this is transmitted ray this is going to be reflected ray okay that's how you are going to have different rays shown in the figure and the n2 and n1 are reflective index if i'm going to talk about next thing if we are going to have two waves of different intensities corresponding to polarization topic we are going to have this formula so the maximum intensity when you want to write it's going to be root i1 plus root i2 whole square okay for the maximum intensity we use this formula for minimum one you will just take a negative sign basically from this main formula you are going to get the all the two equations if you will make the changes here or you will consider the value of cos phi okay this is the main intensity formula then depending on the phase difference phi guys and uh, like depending on this thing that the condition should be that state of polarization of both the waves is perpendicular then in that case depending on the phi values how you can say what kind of polarization is there okay so if phi values are any one of these so plane polarized any one of these then you have to check the amplitude of the electric field like 
corresponding to that expression you can check it out in the starting it's going to be e not written there that amplitude part you need to just check okay if they are equal for both the waves then circularly polarized if not equal then elliptically polarized if there is any other value of pi existing other than these two values or the values which are existing in these categories you will say it's elliptically uh, polarized next condition is corresponding to electromagnetic wave in an isotropic dielectric medium these are the conditions here the k b and d okay wave vector or the direction of propagation of wave which you are going to observe with k all these three are going to be perpendicular okay e perpendicular to b b perpendicular to d and that's how you can observe it clear now electromagnetic wave in conducting medium then important expressions have been mentioned here also guys along with this there are few more expressions in this particular topic which have been mentioned on the next slide i will just show you that one too it's here the wave equations are again very 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 important ones okay if you want to observe like some formula and you want to stop at that particular slide you can do that you can note it down you can revise it well okay again the wave equation i'm just going to quickly show you all the slides okay but if you need some more time to read it or to just check it out like you can do that okay it's up to you and depending on the time you need uh just you can consider for good conductor guys uh, the condition is sigma upon omega epsilon will be very much greater than 1 while for the bad conductor the condition will be opposite to this one it will be very much smaller than 1 attenuation constant sometimes you can uh, get the question based on it here i have just mentioned the expression for that there is the power half for this particular bracket term okay now refractive index how it is related to c and v so it has been mentioned c upon v impedance of electromagnetic wave z naught is equal to root mu naught upon epsilon naught very important pointing vector guys if you want to just find it out it's very important one so pointing vector expression i have mentioned if there are like few parameters given to you and not all depending on the relation of one particular parameter with other one the other formula which you know you can just put the value in this one and you can convert the form then intensity which is the average of pointing vector its formula has been mentioned here then energy density that's in general we have mentioned it corresponding to electric field then you are going to have the force expression q v cross p okay uh, so yeah it's again very important one and all these were the important expressions and formula guys so i hope each and everything will be clear to all of you and thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end Guys, if you want to take the Unacademy Plus subscription to attend the more regular live classes by all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your upcoming exam preparation, then you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription. Okay, and I hope this video is going to be helpful for you. Also, share the videos with your friends to let them know about the important points, important concepts and to help them in their preparation as well. So, keep on sharing the videos. Okay. Uh, and when you are just going to help the other person to okay whether it's going to be your friends or someone in your contact like who is going to prepare for some of or any of these exams as well as who will prepare uh, uh, for the exams in future okay you can share the videos with them it will be like all the videos will be helpful clear in the preparation and to prepare very well for the exam clear and guys as i've told you that soon on unacademy plus new batches are going to start for your upcoming and like next exam preparation the gate physics exam courses are going to start okay preparation courses basically so i hope all these things together will help you a lot so if you want you can take the unacademy plus subscription and you can use and apply the referral code that is anjali arora as it is mentioned here by using and by applying this referral code you will get the 10 percent discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount thank you everyone for watching this video till then thank you